Hi, everybody. I'm super excited about all the updates I've seen in ChatGPT in the last couple of months. And this coming Monday, I'm going to do a live webinar, a free live webinar. I'll put the link in the description below where I'm actually going to break down all these things with examples or how I use it in my practice and that sort of thing. But I'm going to give you a quick preview of all the things that I've seen in ChatGPT in the last couple of months. First of all, the ChatGPT base model, the 4.0, the one that's even available in the free edition, got a super amazing um, image creator that creates these incredible photorealistic images. You've probably seen them all over the web, people creating images. They have a new section called uh, Library. And then once you click on Library, you're actually going to see every picture you have created. Look at this photorealistic receipt I created. This is actually one of the things that fascinates me the most with the new photorealistic image creation is the capacity to create documents that look real. And I think there's some huge um, implications for like our industry for accounting where it comes to receipts or uh, documents for the IRS and stuff. So we're going to discuss that quite a bit. So that new uh, library um, um, section is cool because it saves all the images you're creating. Another thing I really like is if you are in any particular chat, and you have written anything in particular. So for example, let's say that you're in the middle of writing something in here, and then you go to another chat, and then you go back to the chat, you don't, lo you don't lose the drafts that you were writing on. So it, it actually is really cool for you to be able to, um, to, uh, to be in the middle of typing anything, switch back and forth, and you don't lose any of your drafts. So that's a minor update, but uh, it's a really cool. The other thing I really, really love is um, is being able to search my history. So if I click on the little magnifying glass and I just type here, uh, let's say reframe, and I want to search any of my chats that contain reframe, you can see all the options here and then you can click and go back to any of those particular chats. So that's pretty, like all like sort of really, really brief and nifty, um, but it's just super, super uh, powerful. Another cool thing that they added was here under settings and you go under where it says personalization, where it says memory. You can not just turn on your memories, but you can also turn off what's called reference chat history, where you can use every single chat conversation that you've had um, and you can use it to, um, to use it contextually uh, to modify your chats, which is, which is incredible. Now that's only available in my pro edition, because I actually have a pro edition and I have a team edition, I actually have, have both, so I can te te uh, test them differently. And I don't see uh, in, the, in the settings for my team edition, I don't see the option to use the historical chats for context. So maybe it's only available in the pro edition. I, you know, we'll, I'll, I'll do some research before the webinar to kind of clarify that, but that's how I have it in my file. The other thing that's worth mentioning is Deep Research. Uh, it's now available in the basic uh, pro paid edition, I mean the plus edition, the team edition, and you get about 20 something deep research per month with this paid edition. I don't think the free version gets any deep research. And the, the thing that I'm particularly stoked about is this thing called internal knowledge. So you can connect your Google Drive or your so Google Drive or your Microsoft OneDrive and basically it grabs all the context from that drive and can use it, and can search within it for your conversations. And of course you get to turn it off or on, which I like that. So you get to choose whether or not you can use that. Uh, the other thing that they added that's awesome is the projects feature. So projects allows you to create uh, sort of um, more contextual chats based on uh, specific uh, data that you give it. So you actually add uh, documents, uh, doc files, CSV files, whatever, you add any sort of custom documentation to it. And then you, you chat essentially with that custom documentation and with very um, set instructions. So it's similar to custom GPTs, uh, but uh, they're a little bit more powerful because you could choose any of the, any of the models. And about the models, uh, also worth mentioning, which is amazing, is they added this new model called the O3, the Advanced Reasoning Model. It's incredible. Just it's all it's the best of both worlds. It's like a mini deep research, and also a super high reasoning and pretty fast uh, chat model. And they also added the O4, which is like even higher generation, but the mini version, which is a little a little um, faster. 
and then a mini version with high reasoning. And then here's his more models. You get to see all the all the models that they're that they're um, facing out. So um, again, we'll we'll spend a whole hour webinar going deep into all those things and contextually what they mean. But I'm just super excited. If you haven't been like deep into testing ChatGPT, like in March and April of 2025, uh, like in May of 2025, you gotta go all in because these new things that they added. They're absolutely incredible. They're game changers. They save you so much time. So I'll see you in the webinar on Monday.